Well, what's up everybody? It's Wes here at No Limits Hammer Harder, the Thunderdome, my garage. So check this out. Made a post a little while ago about five must-do kettlebell exercises for cyclists. Triathletes, this does mean you too. You're predominantly a cyclist whether you like it or not. So let's get going. The first one, a kettlebell swing. We're going to start. Feet are going to be about hip width apart. Next up, and what I need to make very important here is this is a hip hinge movement. My hips are going to move forward and backward. I push my hips back. I feel some load. Tightening up here on the hamstrings, the kettlebell's about a foot in front of me. I'm going to hike the kettlebell back, and then with a hip thrust, throwing my hips forward is how I'm going to move the kettlebell. So it's going to be hike, hips forward. This is all hips. Throwing my hips towards that wall. And that's the kettlebell swing. Next up, we've got the front squat. So we can go one kettlebell or two. For the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna keep this simple. We're gonna go with the two kettlebell front squat. Feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart. Kettlebells up in the rack position. And then, now my hips are gonna move up and down, not forward and backward. Sit back, hips go down. My hip seam breaks my knee. I'm gonna push the floor away, lock it out at top. Back down, my knees are not tracking past the toes. My hips again have gone below where my knee seam is. Push the floor away, back up. Next up, the trunk twist or the Russian twist. I'm sure you've done this before, but let's review it anyways. It was in the post. On my heels, knees are bent. Lean back until my core engages, preventing me from falling backwards, and simply twist back and forth. Next up, one of my all-time favorite moves, great for core, posterior chain, and getting that rotational strength to climb those big, long grinders. Kettlebells, about shoulder width apart. You can go a little bit more narrow. That's how I like it. Kettlebells are going to be directly underneath the shoulders. Straight line from my head to my heels. Core's engaged, glutes are contracted, feet about shoulder width apart or a little bit more for added stability. And nice high elbows. Get the row. Simply doing four of them with some heavy weight. You can already hear me breathing. Definitely get you metabolic conditioning as well. Last but not least, let's do the single leg RDL or the single leg Romanian deadlift. By that I mean Romanian deadlift, our knee can be soft, but for the most part our leg is going to be fairly straight. Not only is a single leg strength isolating each leg individually for muscular uh, balances, you're also going to see my down leg shaking. That's the proprioception kicking in, working on those stabilizer muscles, which are very, very important, especially for triathletes. I know we're talking about cycling right now. Great for running. Kettlebell on my down leg. I'm going to think straight line from my head to my heel, hinge at the waist. Hinge, I'm looking for my body to be parallel to the ground. Fire the hamstring and glute. Now I can put the foot down. One more time, slow and controlled. You can see the proprioception, really balancing with those stabilizer muscles. Fire that hamstring, fire that glute. So I hope this video helps explain the infographic I posted, as well as if you like this film, film. We'll call it a clip. If you like this clip, I'd appreciate giving it a thumbs up and a like. If you really dug it, if it changed your life, if it made your day, Give it a share, we'd really appreciate that. And until next time, cheers, rubber side down.